And the Japanese yen has hit a new four-month high today after the Bank of Japan came in with a surprise announcement for the markets this morning by tweaking its yield control policy. Let's take a look at what happened. The bank decided to allow the 10-year bond yield to move 50 basis points on either side of its 0% target, wider than the previous 25 basis point band that it had in place. The move caught investors off guard who hadn't expected any changes to the yield curve control until the Bank of Japan governor, Kuroda, steps down in April. Now, following the announcement, shares fell sharply while the yen and bond yields spiked. I want to show you, first of all, the Nikkei 225 today uh, on a chart, because this is significant here. As we've seen now, uh, levels uh, not hit since the 12th of October, some very serious declines that we've seen in this market. Um, we're not as low as we were back on the 4th of March when we were down at 25,717. Uh, but I think you can see at the moment, at least, the direction of travel is in this, in this sort of area down here. So 26,500, uh, the support kicks in at 25,502. Uh, and this is coming in the context of the Bank of Japan saying it would increase monthly purchases of Japanese government bonds to 9 trillion yen per month from the previous 7.3 trillion. Short term interest rates were kept unchanged at a negative 0.1 percent. So nothing has moved there. So far as the dollar against the Japanese yen is concerned, look at that four month lows. These lows now not seen since the 11th of August. But in fact, what we are seeing here is this candle. There are very few buyers in this market at 132.08. 130.40, we were talking about this yesterday as the line of support to watch out for. Uh, we've broken this 200-day uh, moving average, uh, and that is now the price target for those that are short on this market. But you get a break of there. You're then on the way down to another new low that we had established back on the 24th of May this year at 126.36. Uh, the upside that came through for the dollar was as a result of dollar strength. Uh, but since then, we've seen this reversal come through. So it is only just still eating into uh, the gains that we've seen for the dollar uh, in the last, um, what, six or seven, eight months or so. A couple of hours after the Bank of Japan announcement, Governor Kuroda said in a press conference that the yield curve control tweak should lead to economic growth, more employment and wage hikes, adding that he has absolutely no intention of hiking rates at the moment. So that is all part of this yen strength that we've seen and Nikkei weakness as a result of that rise in the Japanese yen. For more videos from us here at IGTV, join us on Twitter at IGCom, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.